It looked like a giant bamboo rising from the Carboniferous swamps, but it wasn't a bamboo, or even a true tree. This was Calamites, an ancient relative of modern horsetails, growing up to 20 meters tall. Calamites dominated the dense, wet forests of Earth around 300 million years ago, its segmented, jointed stems and hollow interior made it light, yet strong enough to reach incredible heights, but if you look closely, it reveals its true identity, a vascular plant related to the equisetum, or horsetail, that still grows today along streams and ponds. In fact, calamites belong to a now-extinct group called the sphenopsids, cousins of modern horsetails, but unlike their small modern relatives, these plants were the skyscrapers of their time, their leaves formed delicate whorls at the nodes, just like horsetails today, and their underground rhizomes allowed them to spread quickly, stabilizing swampy soils. This made them a key part of the lush, oxygen-rich forests that fueled Earth's first great coal deposits. But despite their towering size, they were still spore-producing, not seed plants. Like ferns and mosses, they relied on spores for reproduction, tiny, dust-like particles carried by wind or water, spreading new life wherever they landed, it was an ancient strategy, older than seeds. Yet for millions of years, it worked, spore-producing plants like calamites filled the primeval wetlands, building vast forests that shaped Earth's atmosphere. But nothing lasts forever. As the climate changed, as drier conditions spread, and as new plants evolved seeds, better suited for survival on land, the era of giants like calamites began to fade. Eventually, they vanished, leaving behind only silent fossils, pressed into coal seams and rock beds.